You ever heard the term, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't? Well guys, like apparently by biblical standards, I'm going to hell. Your, yours truly is going to hell. Not because I'm lying with whores or uh, fornicating with man because, with other men because I'm not doing any of those things. But simply because I'm mean to my parents. Guys, can you believe that? And I don't try to be. I just feel like I just have to be stern like parents are with their children because the roles have reversed, you know? And because my parents, their parents died off young, they didn't really have anyone to police them. And I'm not saying I have to police my parents. I'm just saying like, I feel like I have to though, in a way. I don't know, it's all really fucked up, guys. It's, it's, it's really, really, it's really, it's really all just really messed up. I mean, I'm not mean to them. Sometimes I just give them the silent treatment. But that really, really is mean, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it really mean? Do you, any of you guys do that? Give people the silent treatment? Uh-oh. See, guys? Over here talking about hell. And we have embers. Embers flying up into the sky. What's going on over here, guys? Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. This is the portal to hell. Oh, my God. It's not, guys. It's just fire. It's just me recycling some some boxes, some Amazon Prime boxes that spilt over. Is it a little bit out of control? No, it's still, you know, somewhat manageable. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to be startled about. Yes, obviously, maybe you can hear me slurring, guys. I did happen to go to Hooters. I did have a few Guinnesses. Actually, I had less Guinness than I usually do, guys. I only had three or four beers. We're just going to call it three beers. And, uh, yeah, because I actually my tab was the lowest, guys. It was only $50. Let's see, what did I have? I had a buffalo chicken sandwich, and the rest was just beers. Uh, obviously, it was a combo, right? So, oh, I had a key lime pie, guys. I had a key lime pie. And I tip $30, $30, that's my lowest tip as of lately, guys, as of ever really late. Anyways, I feel pretty good about it. Why did I decide I was going to go out even though I've been talking that about that it's been a recession and everything? I decided to go out because I do need to start living in the now more because I feel like I'm always stuck beating myself up over my past, over my past mistakes, and then I'm always in a frantic frenzy to purchase shit for the future. And so I'm never, I do try to live in the now, but I need to be more, more adamant about doing so. And so every time I listen to Alan Watts, I get the reminder to just fuck everything and fuck everything else and fuck everybody. And so not literally, but just, you know, fuck off with them. And so, guys, I uh, actually decided to go out and celebrate because, for one, I fixed a bunch of shit on the Volvo. That's one. Two, I actually started to utilize all of the money spent on welding equipment and and stuff. And so I started my own. I, I actually made progress on the Volvo for the well for the exhaust. That's actually something I really was hesitant about because my whole life I really was hesitant and I refrained and I turned down opportunities to weld high paying jobs because I didn't want to lose my eyesight. I, I turned down jobs on oil rigs because I didn't want to. I didn't want to turn. I didn't want to sacrifice the longevity of vitality of my body for just some quick money, even though a lot of that quick money. Hey, guys, stop that. Even though a lot of that money uh, can, can set a lot of people up for greatness, you know, I just didn't want to sacrifice my body for money. And the older I get, I've 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 come across this russian mobster on youtube and he's always talking about don't fucking chase money 
and don't make money your god in your 20s and god damn i'm so happy that i never did that i always have gone into jobs for like whoa what kind of skill can i learn and even today while i was at hooters i was talking to an electrician i realized that oh my god i'm so fucking valuable i am a man of great value because i just have a great knowledge of carpentry plumbing electrician spirituality just a little bit of intellectuality and just all sorts of other things guys like i'm just a well-rounded man you know i'm not one of these lost little fucking puppies out here cutting off my pecker trying to grow some tits guys i'm you get what i'm saying here guys there is a quantity of level of measure you can apply to people and I just need to start holding myself to a higher standard. And then for a while now, I've been neglecting a lot of my positive affirmations. And even today, while I was in the shower, even a year ago today, I could spend 20 minutes in the shower nonstop talking about affirmations. And today, I could hardly spend two minutes. That means that I lost and forgot that quick wit of tongue memory of just shit that I would spill out. And you cannot imagine how detrimental that is for me to realize because you cannot, because all that stuff I had memorized that I would voice out and just fire off by, by brain memory, um, did wonders for priming and setting up my days. And now I have to work my way back up to that. Now I have to go back and spend hours and hours listening to Kevin Trudeau. I have to spend hours listening to Jim Rohn again. Uh, Les Brown. I have to I have to listen to Wayne Dyer. I have to listen to Neville Goddard. I have to listen to all of these people all over again because I fell off. And I also fell off of working out, guys. So I need to start back on doing that. But don't you worry, guys. I'm going to start doing that. I'm not really yelling at you guys. I'm just making sure I, that I'm able to be heard by you all. It's getting pretty smoky over here, guys. Don't you worry. I'm not going to fuck off and go inside and start masturbating to porn. I'm not going to be doing any of that. In fact, I'm going to get some shit done on the Jeep. I'm going to try to swap the valve cover and get that valve cover, top, gasket, assembly, and all the new parts installed. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm actually very proud of myself. I'm going to stay hydrated so I don't have a bad hangover tomorrow. In fact, I'm actually just going to fucking stay awake for the next 24 hours so I could just avoid a, a hangover altogether. So that's just a little update on this, guys. And, you know, we're just over here talking about God and hell and everything, guys. I don't know if some of you have been following the YouTube comments. Been fucking talking about it going and converting to Islam and becoming a uh, Muslim. And all I'm saying is I have not yet gone to a mosque here locally, but I do plan on it. But I am hesitant because I don't want to piss off, well, the God that I've been so loyal to. Well, half-assed loyal to. You get what I'm saying? But I, on another level, I feel like, well, God is just different because where we are all different. And I feel like if you are a spiritual and godly person, then you're going to honestly, out of curiosity, you're going to read all of the, you're going to read all of the religious books, honestly. And so that's why I'm actually going to re read the Quran and not feel guilty about it. Because in the past, I have already almost read the whole Bhagavad Gita. I didn't finish it, but I read the majority of it. And I, you know, just because I didn't finish it, I just, I'm a quitter, guys. I'm just a, a, a hard quitter. And I guess that's why I'm just a master of none and a jack of all trades, guys. And that's why the channel is named this way. Because I wanted you to know that, like, I'm pretty much like your cousin. Uh, and I'm a jack of all trades, guys. So that's the name for the channel.